the private sector has been making significant contributions through a range of groundbreaking initiatives and public-private partnerships, including the private sector and multi-stakeholder policy discussions, enables the exchange of views, perspectives, and lessons learned as regulators and policymakers consider the most effective approaches to advance development in their respective countries and regions. The problems that we are facing are terribly complex and governments cannot work in ivory towers. Industry has a major role to play in feeding public debates with facts and figures to inform government of the possible outcome of the different policy options. The private sector has an enormous responsibility in shaping the future of ICT development. If policymaking is unduly influenced or exclusive in some way, it will miss its own objectives and in fact not touch people's lives. The opportunity on the other hand is to involve everyone and so give policymaking the best chances of success because by getting it right, we do transform people's lives. ICT technology benefit the world and its population. As a member of the industry and private sector, we pursue very close collaboration with the three sectors of ITU and for their own uh, functions. And we want to make uh, contributions. We think we have been making contributions and we can continue to make our contributions. The industry and private sector are two important limbs, uh, uh, you know, for growth of telecoms. Even if you see historically, uh, you know, telecoms were a monopoly when they started out and mostly government organizations. However, uh, you know, over a period of time, uh, uh, you know, these monopolies have converted to private sector play across the globe. Uh, so together, uh, you know, we can uh, really work to shape the future of the ICT development. I believe that part of our job is ensuring that the private sector understands the ITU and its role and understands uh, all of the possibilities um, for that collaboration and for multi-stakeholderism in general.